So recently, I was looking and searching for an idea that I wanted to talk about for a video. And to be honest, wala akong maisip na idea. So whenever I felt a creative block, I just usually move as much as I can. So nagbike ako and then this uh, concept or idea pops into my head. And I was reminded of the concept of the buffer fund. So naisip ko siya kasi most of the time pag nagbabike ako or, or uh, nagdadrive ako ng car, napapansin ko yung mga tao nagtitailgate sila or tinututo ka nila yung mga sasakyan or any transport vehicle na nasa unahan nila. And when the car or any transport vehicle in front of them suddenly needs to stop or suddenly needs to step on the brake, they tend na tamaan yung nasa unahan nila kasi hindi sila nagpuput ng safety allowance for them to be able to stop as well. So basically, a buffer fund is an extra bit of allowance that you put in anything that you do kasi almost all the time there's always something unexpected that will happen and it will consume your time or your money or kahit ano pa man yan and yung uh, allowance na yun or yung buffer na yun uh, it allows you to adjust accordingly to the uncertainties na mangyayari. Let's use a very common, very relatable example. Let's use travel. Whenever we travel naman, we compute for our itinerary expenses. And most of the time, yung itinerary expenses natin is fairly accurate dun sa actual expenses natin. But almost all the time, we spend a little bit more than dun sa itinerary expenses natin or dun sa binudget natin na gagasasin natin. It's actually those small things that makes us spend a little bit more. It's that food na ngayon ko lang nakita that's so interesting na gusto kong tikman. It's those souvenirs na medyo nag-spend tayo a little bit more than what we budgeted. It's those tips na binibigay natin dun sa mga helper natin dun sa place kung saan tayo nag-stay. Or kaya naman when somebody offers you an experience na dumula na discover na kahit wala siya sa itinerary mo and kasi ang mindset mo dun, di ba? Kaya nakapababalik dito sa lugar na to. So most of the time, we tend to grab that opportunities. And yung mga opportunities na yun makes us spend a little bit more dun sa itinerary expenses natin. And that's where having a buffer fund comes in very handy. Another common example is when you have a meeting or an appointment to a certain place at a certain time. If Waze tells you na it will take you 30 minutes, it will actually be 45 minutes to get you there. And yung delays could come from anything that you could imagine. It could be as simple as finding a parking spot or kaya naman nagkaroon ng toll gate problem sa RFID mo. Or kaya naman uh, you have to suddenly take the bathroom or kaya naman yung iniinom mong coffee spills in your clothes and you have to change clothes. True story. So sobrang daming pwedeng mangyari and having an allowance on your time just actually puts you right on time. Before we talk about the application of this concept to our personal finances, I just want to take a quick plug to my podcast. So last weekend, I recorded a podcast with Maven from Maven and Money and obviously, we talk about personal finance, career development, and other adulting matters. So if you appreciate long-form content and a good podcast or intelligent conversation, you might check yung podcast episode namin like in the description. Okay, back to the main topic of this video. If you actually apply this concept into your personal finance, there are two topics or ideas that comes into my mind. Number one is yung kids college fund mo and number two is yung retirement fund mo. And actually, if titina mo, it's decades away before it actually happened. If you're someone in your 20s or 30s, you're probably thinking, matagal pa naman yan, tsaka na ako maghahanda para dyan. And all of a sudden, when you wake up, your kid is now in his high school and you're what, four or six years away before mag-college yung anak mo. And when you have to play catch up with money, it's just hard. Para ka nalulunod sa kumunoy. Instead of getting out of it or instead of getting ahead of it, lalo kang nalulunod. And if you think about it, everything is interconnected. If you're just getting by, paying for your kids' college tuition fee, your retirement clock is also ticking down. And it's almost impossible for you to prepare financially for two things at the same time. So sobrang hirap nun. So if you put yung concept or idea ng buffer fund dito, you'll just have to put allowance on everything. You just have to act one step ahead every time. This is a clip from one of Matt Diavela's previous videos and dito ko una narinig yung concept of buffer. Well, I think that I think that what you I think my experience and my expectation is that unexpected things will come up. Like that is what my experience has taught me. You think it will be like X, but really there will be things you didn't plan for. And that's exactly why you have to create buffer in the system. To me it feels like there's a lot in common with finances and creating a security fund. That's like the first thing, the first right. step that Dave Ramsey right. and everybody talks about if you're trying to head towards financial independence. It's save up a thousand dollars, put it in a glass box underneath your bed, hide it away and make right. sure that you don't touch it unless there's an emergency right. and it creates a buffer. And that's something that 
I did when I was pursuing a career, creating original content. I needed a buffer. I needed to say, okay, I have a year's worth of living expenses in the bank. Now I feel much more confident, free, and flexible that I can pursue this without stress or anxiety. If you want to watch the whole video, I'll put links in the description. Anyways, you just want to make this video para maging constant reminder sa atin kasi I think this is an important concept that we tend to neglect or hindi natin siya pinapansin kahit common sense siya so that next time when you compete for something, whether how much time it will take or how much money it will cost, we will include a buffer into it. Siguro, I wanted to make this video personally kasi in the past weeks, so many things that happened unexpectedly and hindi ko siya na-estimate ng maayos. For example, yung repair ng bike ko, I thought it would only take one day kasi yung sira lang niya is yung pedals, yung brakes, and yung tires. And nakala ko isang araw lang yun but actually it took three days para maayos lahat yon and then yung unexpected na pagkasira ng mga outlet namin dito sa bahay namin, it consumes another day of my time. And then yung pag-open ng bagong stock broker account, akala ko it will only take one day but it actually takes a week para matapos yung buong process ng pag-open ng new account. So ayun lang yung story and concept of this video. Always put buffer or allowance into whatever thing you're doing kasi most of the time it will take longer than what you expected it to be. So before you click out na lang, please don't forget to leave a like, uh, subscribe if you aren't already, and leave your thoughts in the comment section and check my recent podcast episode. So ayun lang. Peace out. See you in the next video. Bye! Bakit importante sa'yo yung money? Why, why money is important to you? Um, yun. Freedom talaga. And, and one word, freedom. And siguro kasi, yun nga rin, parang I, I, I didn't grow up with a lot of money. Parang um, may, may, may pressure pa sa akin, I guess, being um, I guess it's obvious, half Chinay. So, mm. parang, <laughs> I, well, Chinay, so half Chinese. Yun. And parang, di ba, may, may usual perception tayo about the chi- filchi community na parang, ay, mayaman yan, ganyan. Mm-hmm. And hindi kami yun. So, parang, it's so stressful for me to grow up na yung mga classmates ko are expecting me to be rich, but I'm not. Um, and at home, parang, naging na-instill naman yun ng lola ko, yung importance of money. Mm-hmm. Kasi mahilig siyang mag-grant na, yun nga, parang, <laughs> hindi, hindi yan nakukuha ko ng sansan na, mm-hmm. ganyan, kailangan kang, kailangan kang magtipid, ganyan. And, like, for example, pag inuutusan ang bumili sa labas, I make it a point na talagang sakto yung sukli na binibigay ko sa lola ko, balik, mm-hmm. ganyan. So, I think early on, I, I understood how important money was. Pero, I guess in when I started working doon nang naging evident na parang um you know how important it is then what do you need to do about that na parang mm-hmm. kailangan din pala you know how to manage it and yun yung parang wala sa curriculum mm-hmm. wala sa normal conversations natin in our family but it's it's really so important kasi nga it, it buys you freedom eh mm-hmm. it it buys you freedom of time kasi if you don't have it then there are a lot of things that can go wrong 